I'd actually reframe it, and I think it's less about walking the line between the two. Businesses are in business to serve people, whether you make products, you've got services, and you're also embedded in communities. You've got employees, hopefully you're growing your employee base. So the idea that there's a choice to be made between uh, being proactive, being activists as a business and not, I think is a little bit of a, of, a, of a false narrative. We are part of our community, we serve our fans, and we touch thousands and thousands of people here and around the world. So I think acknowledging that you are part of a community and being part of the social change that you want to see uh, come, come apart in the world that you serve is actually part of business. I actually think that's in the DNA of Ben and Jerry's and why I'm so excited to uh, be part of the business. So what type of issues are you looking to take on and how are you changing yeah. the focus and what are you doing about it? Well, I think first of all, the business actually just celebrated its 40th anniversary earlier this year. So I get the privilege of leading a team and a business that has a four decade track record of not only making the best ice cream in the world, but actually putting its money where its mouth is in terms of driving progressive change. And these stem from environmental justice, social justice, um, uh, Black Lives Matter, um, and really going after systemic racism in ways that, frankly, I think business does have a role. Are you worried about losing conservative con consumers? Mm, I mean, it's a pretty listen, liberal agenda you've got there. Well, I think that um, uh, not everybody may agree with, with our position and the position the team and I have. Um, and that's actually something where uh, it gets me excited because I want to create more dialogue. This is not about one side fighting another uh, on issues. But I think that never before have we had a lot of issues bubbling to the surface in the United States, where I think we need to come together as people, we need to come together around these issues and have more dialogue. So yes, it's true to your point, some people may not agree with the position that Ben and Jerry's, the team and I take, but let's have a dialogue, let's have a discussion about it. Because I think that what we need is more dialogue and more engagement, and this is true for both business leaders um, and, and people. So uh, am I nervous? Not really. Uh, might we alienate some people? Perhaps, but I think that's what it takes to actually step in and be proactive um, as a business and being part of the dialogue that, frankly, the people we serve want us to be having. I mean, some issues are maybe easier to decide upon than others, right? I mean, uh, you, you got uh, racial justice is one thing. Uh, Starbucks, though, was handed like a very difficult question about the use of public bathrooms or the bathrooms in their restaurants. How do you, where's the line between appropriate use and abuse? Uh, this, I mean, you're going to struggle with some of this down the road. I'm sure you realize that. Listen, I think that there's uh, the, the, the big topic around social equity is, is got lots of layers and lots of, lots of facets. So I'm not going to pretend I've got all the answers. But I think um, rather than thinking about it as a line that you cross or that you not cross, I'd say it's a dialogue that you want to be part of. And Ben and Jerry's has been part of it. I'm going to continue moving in that direction. And I think business is at a big inflection point. So I've had the privilege of working in the consumer package industry for a couple of decades now. And I think what Ben and Jerry's uh, has to offer, both on the product front with super premium products that have led the industry, and on social justice and really about social mission, I think these are two huge topics where business needs to engage more on. So I don't see it that there's a line to cross. I see it's more about dialogue that we want to have and stepping in confidently. We won't always get it right. There's sometimes uh, where we, we, we always need to be raising our own bar. So I don't mean to suggest at all that we've got the right answers. Yeah. But I think having the courage to step in is, is what business leaders need to be doing today. What flavor would the Donald Trump ice cream be if you made one? Oh. I listen, I, I, that's a good question. I don't know. I get asked a lot what my favorite flavor is. And while I had one, I'm finding that each day I'm trying new flavors, all the magic that our, <laughs> our chefs are creating. And, would would uh, you even do one? Are you going to do one or no? You had a Bernie uh, one. Bernie is yearning. Uh, uh, it's not on the docket right now, uh, but uh, that doesn't mean we wouldn't do it in the future. Well, because I think we're focused on, listen, I'd be remiss if I didn't talk about some of the yummy stuff that we're creating right now. This is our move Can euphoria. I ask you actually about that? Right now there's a whole war on sugar. Sugar is the new smoking. You worried about that? I mean, that seems like a real threat to the ice cream business. Well, uh... I think that developing great products that satisfy our fans, that wow our fans, that delight our fans, that's what Ben & Jerry's is all about. To your question, we've developed Mooforia. This is a product that has less sugar, less fat, and less calories, but it has the totally over-the-top flavor that, that our fans love from Ben & Jerry's. So it's a good question, and we're addressing it with things like our Mooforia.
It's been a crazy year for your raw material costs. I mean, sugar is one of those commodities where prices have actually fallen. Uh, but cocoa earlier in the year was a much different story. Can you talk about what's offsetting what? Yeah, um, I, I, I don't want to get into the specifics of, of which commodities are changing. One of the things I would say is that when you're in the super premium ice cream business like we are, focusing on costs, but also the value that you create through the products and the pricing that's associated with it, is is part of the is part of the equation costs are always going up and down and a lot of our products we we are in the fair trade business and so there are some times where we're going to pay an additional premium for the quality and or the fair trade nature of the ingredients that we bring in so to your point keeping really close eye on what's happening with commodities and how we deal with that through the PL is um is a key part of what we do there's a lot i've still got to learn about how we bring the magic of the ben and jerry's formulas and the chefmanship to yep. the market, but managing the commodities is certainly a huge piece of what my team's doing.